Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Kate's Real Food. These, uh, This is a Kate's Real Food bar. Um, I have the peanut butter hemp and flax, peanut butter milk chocolate. And I have the peanut butter dark chocolate and the dark chocolate cherry and almond. We had never seen this brand before. We found these at Bucky's. Bucky's, uh, they were uh, 2 dollars each at Bucky's. Uh, it says gluten-free, USDA, organic, non-GMO. Um, these uh, are made in Idaho. The peanut butter, hemp, and flax. It says two servings in the container. Half a bar is 120 calories for half the bar. So peanut butter, hemp, and flax. Oh, it smells good. The peanut butter smells really nice. So, it looks, uh, looks oaty. It looks like it has a lot of, it looks like quinoa's in there, doesn't it? It does. It could be the flax. Let's see. I don't know, I don't know what flax looks like. <laughs> um, I've seen it. I don't know what, I don't remember. It seems like a very loose. Oats, peanut butter, brown rice crisps, flax seeds, dark chocolate, Hemp seeds and sea salt. That's a hemp seed. These little, mm. look like uh, little sesame seeds. I'm pretty mm. sure that's a hemp seed. It's very crunchy. Mm -hmm. The flavor's not bad for me. It's not one I would want all the time, but it's not bad. To me, it tastes like a homemade, uh, like a no-bake peanut butter cookie. It's not quite as sweet. It's there's, not as sweet. There's another underlying flavor there. Mm -hmm. It's got an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. There's something that, and it might be that hemp, mm -hmm. but there's something a little bit earthy in there. Oh, earthy was the word I was mm -hmm. using. Um, so, or seedy, like bird seed, seedy. Yeah, that's the texture though. But for the flavor, mm -hmm. it 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 is earthy. So it's peanut butter, but in oats. But it is there is an earthiness under it. I don't mind it though. Yeah. See, the aftertaste for me is kind of like a a sunflower seed type flavor. Mm -hmm. Not quite sunflower seeds, but kind of like that flavor. For me, oh, it's earthy. It's okay. Than that. It is very earthy though. Uh, this is the peanut butter yeah. milk chocolate. It's 130 calories for half a bar. This one looks more Tear interesting. Yeah, well, it has um, it's stuff. milk chocolate. Okay. It's stuff. Let's see. It says it has oats, honey, peanut butter, milk chocolate. Yeah, this one's not as crumbly. This one's more firm. It has dried apricots and raisins. Sunflower some seeds and sesame seeds and sea salt. So I thought that was supposed to be the chocolate. Mm. That's the raisins. Yeah, it's soft. It's raisins. Okay. And you get a little bit of that raisin flavor as well. I like the texture of that better. It's not as crunchy and dense. Yeah, that's one I could eat. I like the verse one more. No, no me. It's too earthy, too seedy. To me, something in that is coming across as almost floral. No, I know mm -hmm. it though. Maybe it's the raisins. I don't know, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's all up in my sinuses. Because I get raisins, or the raisins are pretty strong flavor. Okay, well if that's what those particular raisins taste like, because I'm not used to that raisin flavor, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's all I taste. I, I do um, get a little bit of a floral aftertaste. Not, it's not as bad for me, but I do get a little bit. Of it, it. Um, it completely. Um, I do not taste any peanut butter. No, I really it didn't said get peanut milk butter. Chocolate. Either. I do not taste any I'm chocolate. No chocolate. And that's what I loved so much about the first bar is that I really tasted the peanut butter. I don't get any. Do you get peanut butter? No, I don't get peanut butter or chocolate. The, so for me, I guess I agree adding those raisins just ruined that the, the whole experience. Uh, this is peanut butter and dark chocolate, so it's probably going to be the exact same thing. Uh, 130 calories for half the bar, so I'm expecting it to be the same, but 
So I'm probably not gonna like this one. It does have raisins in it. Big, big raisins. Yeah. Um, it, it, there, I just don't care for those. It's something that comes across as floral. Maybe and, it wasn't raisins. Maybe it was something else. Uh, same things. Oats, honey, peanut butter, uh, dried apricots again, raisins, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, sea salt. Mmm. That one's more crumbly. A little bit, yeah. Again, I don't really get the peanut butter. Mm -mm. Yeah, if there's dark chocolate in there, I don't get that any either. Tastes very, very similar to the last one. I mean, they're almost identical. That one has a, a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Probably from whatever the dark chocolate is, but I'm getting a bitter, I'm getting a bitterness from that one I didn't from the other one. I did not get a noticeable raisin in that, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you what I'm noticing now that I've had my third bite, is that it's really making the bot, this is so weird because I haven't had this happen before. It's really making the bottom of my mouth, the inside of my mouth, dry. It feels dry. Like, probably, probably. like these are a sponge and I'm sopping up the bottom of my mouth. It's just, it's just dry. Um, I didn't get the floral flavor, but I really didn't get a big raisin in that one. I think the raisins is what I didn't like. Um, I did not taste peanut butter again. Mm. I have not tasted peanut butter since the very first yeah. one. If you want the peanut butter flavor so far, yeah, definitely the first one. That is such a weird mouth feel for me right now because <laughs> the whole like bottom of my mouth just feels like it's just something's making it drier and drier. It's just weird. <laughs> um, yeah, this, you don't really dry bars, honestly. No, they're not. They're not. And that's why I don't understand that, that feeling, I'm, that mouth feel I'm getting. Uh, dark chocolate, cherry, and almond. Uh, this is half a bar is 130 calories. That's, that's pretty common for most of these. And it is a little darker. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. It <coughs> says oats, honey, almond butter, sweetened dried cherries, dark chocolate, almonds, sea salt. That one seems to have a lot to chew. Mm-hmm. I get that little burst of cherry in there. I do too. So that one leaves a bitter aftertaste in my mouth too. The last two have both left a bitterness in my mouth. Probably because it's dark chocolate. But there's, you can't taste dark chocolate just bitter. No, but you don't taste it. Um, I do like the cherries though. I like the cherries too. I like that bar. Mm -hmm. I think that's nice. There is a there is a little bit of a bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. I can't say that it's necessarily coming from the chocolate because, like you said, you I don't, don't taste the chocolate. No, it's like the chocolate doesn't exist, but then you get that bitterness. It's like, Honestly, that it's from? just like cherries and oats, mm -hmm. um, which I like. But I really do like this bar. I could eat this bar all the time. My very favorite one was the peanut butter hemp and flax because. It's the only one of the three peanut butters. We had three peanut butter. It's the only one where you actually tasted the peanut butter. I agree. That, that's true. And for me, that's it surprises me because I really thought the peanut butter milk chocolate, when I just saw the names, I thought, oh, that'll be my favorite. Mm. And it's not at all. Because well, you don't get any, either one of those things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would buy the blue one or the red one. If you're looking for them, uh, dark chocolate cherry and almond or peanut butter hemp and flax and i did not taste almond i just have to say that um, i mean it might be there there's so much go oh i believe it's there but it's, i mean the flavor might be there it's just mixed in with there's, so much other yeah flavors. there's so much going on that you really don't get that what two would you choose um, i wouldn't choose any of them um, okay. because the, i did not the first the two middle ones um i didn't get peanut butter Chocolate. I didn't get any of that. Mm -hmm. um, the last two we tried have a very bitter aftertaste for me, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to buy those. If I had to choose one, I would get the cherry one. Okay. The because, very last one. The yeah. Red one. And the peanut butter, hemp, and flax. I just did not like that. That earthy kind of flavor. Yeah. These honestly. It's not for everybody. That's one you'd have to try yourself. Yeah. It's. It's not. Um, and this is. Uh, if you wonder like what bars would compare to these as far as texture. 
they're kind of going like a cliff bar. It, these are yeah. more loosely packed than a cliff bar. I think cliff bars are denser. Um, but I think the texture, it's definitely not like a kind bar. It's not crunchy or hard or anything like mm -hmm. that. This is this is more like your cliff bar. Yeah, and the nuts and seeds kind of. Right. Bars, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, you just, it's something you'll have to try for yourself. It, it probably wouldn't be, it definitely wouldn't be my go to no. either. But I think if you eat a lot of bars and you haven't had this brand, I would give these a try because I really do like the peanut butter and the flax, mm -hmm. uh, hemp and flax. So, I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.